Good morning, everyone. Thank you, Mia. Thank you, Mia's family. Uh, Rio Medina, Principal of Casa Canyon High School. Uh, Brett, Chamber of Commerce, thank you for hosting this wonderful event. Uh, truly is an amazing um, time to, as, as uh, Jesse said, it, it kind of grounds us in why we're here to do work for students and celebrate them. Um, it is my pleasure and honor to introduce Nina Finch. Uh, a lot has gone into this year with Nina. Uh, I've got to know her this year more than any other years I've been at Casa Canyon High School. Uh, and it's because of her passion. Now, many teachers have nominated her, and there was an arm wrestling match of who was going to come. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Ms. Gaelic is here. Well, well, well. <laughs> <laughs> but I did share with them that I would share some words from them, and then I'm going to tell a story, kind of what um, an experience we had this year that kind of uh, tells us why Nina's here today. Nina's thoughtful, kind, brave, and a compassionate human being. She helps build confidence and success with students she works with. Nina is motivating to those around her and encourages people to do better and to be better. Nina is an advocate and champion for all students, particularly students with learning disabilities, and stands up for what she knows is right. She is also one of the founders and uh, developers of, uh, it's called the Stampede Squad, and we'll talk a little bit about more of that later. Ms. Gaelic's also been a part of that, um, but it's really inclusion, uh, including our students with disabilities uh, with our dance and cheer squad during our halftime shows. So we'll talk a little bit more about that later, Mia. I'm sorry, it's Mia, you're my Mia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm still recovering from that. Um, so this year, uh, we hosted a, a, a pretty large football game and we had the Stampede Squad and, um, and, and, and Mia was there with a, a couple of other friends, and um, there, there's a show that goes on where our Stampede Squad are dancing, and it's remarkable. The student section cheers them on, the cheerleaders, everyone, football players, it's, it's just a beautiful thing, and, and Nina has been a really big part of that, um, and she does stand up for what is right, and this is why her and another gal came to, to me and said, there's a, a, a person who doesn't even come to our school who was making fun of our kids, Mr. Medina, you need to do something about that. And so her and the other gal did a remarkable job of finding the information for this young individual who, who did not attend our school, um, brought it to me, and she says, we need to do what's right. We need to support our kids. This is not okay, Mr. Medina. That is an example of a person on our campus who is leading the way, one maverick way, becoming a better human every single day. So Nina, thank you so much for all that you do, for your advocacy for students, uh, not only for our students with disabilities, but with other people. I've learned something this morning about Nina is that she has come from Hong Kong and has uh, transitioned into LCC as a star and a leader at Alicosta Canyon High School. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Nina Finch. <laughs> attend Wakasa Canyon High School, and with me today are my parents, Ms. Gaelic, Ms. Espinoza, and Mr. Medina. Since my freshman year at LCC, I have been part of Best Pals Club, an inclusive club that works to bring together all communities in school, focusing on those with special needs. I became more involved my junior year when I just happened to be placed in a yoga class with Ms. Gaelic and her special needs students. Ms. Gaelic and the cheer coach were teetering on the idea of an inclusive cheer team when they offered me the role of captain. I said yes immediately, and it was one of the best opportunities I have been fortunate enough to be part of, our Stampede Squad. Since then, I've been a teacher's assistant in yoga, helping with the special needs students with class and collaborating with our cheer team to make fun and cheer, da uh, cheer and dances. We've cheered every third quarter at home football games, and I felt a huge impact on our student section. No matter who was hyping up the crowd, the student section cheered them on, smiles from ear to ear. And on the Mondays after the games, many students go out of their way to talk to members of our Stampede squad and make new friendships. It has also given many of the special needs students a newfound confidence in themselves. Not only have I learned not to underestimate anyone, no matter what you may believe of them, I've learned and seen what an impact small actions can make on a larger community. At our very first game, as we walked down to the field, as Mr. Medina was saying, 
Another student from another school said inappropriate words that sadly a friend of mine had heard. It was heartbreaking, but soon after, another member of our Stampede squad performed a freestyle dance for the crowd and received the best reaction possible. Since I have felt no negativity towards our special needs students at school, I've also learned a lot about myself through this experience. Going in with no prior cheer knowledge and very little leadership roles at school, I'm coming out of this with new confidence in myself to quickly adapt and pick up new skills. As someone who used to always doubt themselves, our Stampede Squad has only proved to me that I'm more, more than capable of anything I put my mind to. As of right now, I'm planning to apply to UC Irvine, UC San Diego, San Diego State University, and Cal State San Marcos. I want to study to get a bachelor's degree in psychology and possibly go further and get a master's to become a licensed therapist or branch into education, possibly special education. These are the two fields I'm most interested in because I'm a natural listener and I'm always helping friends when they need it most and having Ms. Espinosa's support over the last four years through my highs and lows, I also want to make a career out of it. Education has also always piqued my interest as I love leading and teaching others and Ms. Gaelic has introduced me to the beauty of teaching those with special needs. I want to thank all the sponsors who are here today who have supported myself and everyone else in this program. wonderful speech. Thank you so much for everyone being here and honoring these students are amazing. When I met Nina, I met her freshman year and she was involved in the Best Pals, an inclusion club on campus. But I really got to know her well was last year during our, our pandemic. I still was on campus, but Nina started coming in and supporting and she was the only student in the class and she came every day to be with these students because she was thriving, she loved and she was patient, she was kind, supportive and made the class so fun. And I knew that she was special because she had the empathetic desire to help others, but especially those students with special needs. She was a true friend to them. She saw them for their strengths and she succeeded on, like brought them up to rise and believe in themselves. And so I was talking to her with the cheer coach about this amazing opportunity and she jumped on board with me. She was like, well, I'm, I'm a rugby player. <laughs> I'm a, I don't know about wearing a uniform, but I, I will. Like it was completely <laughs> different, but she, saw the opportunity and we went from door to door trying to find out are we going to be in foundation is it going to be asp where are we where are we going to make this this opportunity happen and and we did it and it is thriving and she has a really cute cheer outfit and <laughs> <laughs> last week was homecoming and we wanted to perform at the pep rally so nina who's never studied dance or cheer was up front teaching the routine to cheerleaders, the Stampede Squad, everyone. And, and she was rocking it because she has passion. She has determination and care, just as she was a freshman coming here from another country. You know, she steps out of that comfort zone to make a difference and to be a better person and to make the community better. And it is amazing. So my whole, I've been teaching 22 years and she has done something this year that has changed LCC campus. We've always had the inclusion in sports and this, but never found our way. But with the Stampede Squad, the students walk around campus. They wear their cheer uniform on game day. They're out on the field. Now everyone knows who they are, even in the community. It is so beautiful and it's just such a big connection that I can't describe. It's like every day is, is beautiful <laughs> at LCC. So thank you for being so amazing and making such a beautiful difference. And it will be years to come. <laughs> it will keep coming, you'll come back. <laughs> thank you. Good morning. Um, as Mr. Medina said, we were arm wrestling to see who might be able to speak wonderful things about Nina. And I'm Rhonda Espinosa. I've been Nina's counselor since she um, started at La Costa Canyon High School. And I'll keep this brief, but just to share, as educators, we know that there are those students that just stand out. Those students that just kind of come to mind and when we think about you know, a rising star, Nina is really everything. She embodies the, um, the hard working, the dedication, the passion that we love to see in all of our students. Um, I know she's going to make a difference, and she did touch me when she said she's thinking about going into education, so 
Um, I just wanted to thank Nina for all of her hard work um, from day one. Most conscientious student. She's caring. She works hard. She she's a, a teacher's dream to have in the classroom. She really is. Um, she's an amazing young woman. So thank you, and thank you, the um, chamber and, and all of the sponsors. This is an amazing event. And I come here, and once again, we're refreshed, and our cups are full when we walk away from this. So thank you, and Nina. Congratulations. You're going to do great. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, committee members and distinguished guests, Mako and I. <laughs> both, we're both incredibly proud. <laughs> <laughs> We're both incredibly proud of Nina and all that she's achieved as an active student and community member at La Costa Canyon High School here in Carlsbad. Nina has demonstrated her caring and nurturing traits from an early age as an older sibling and first demonstrated her leadership abilities during her middle school years, competing completing a sports leader's designation as a coach's assistant, working with younger students. While playing competitive contact rugby for the Cyclone Stingrays before joining the LCC Girls Rugby Club. Nina was also a lead singer in the Vienna Boys Choir Music Academy, where she coached younger aspiring singers and gave numerous public performances. Nina, as you've heard earlier today, relocated to Carlsbad from Hong Kong at the end of July 2018, leaving her friends behind and rapidly acclimating to a new culture, a new educational system and new friends. Nina has adapted well to these extreme life changes and continues to shine with the support of her teachers and counsellor <laughs> Mother Espinosa, always working to help others. Nina would not be here with you today without the tremendous support of Miss Espinosa. We're truly grateful to you. Nina's yoga teacher, Casey Gaelic, helped Nina to harness her leadership, confidence, and abilities. Thank you. We're so proud of all that Nina has achieved so far and we can't wait to see what she'll do in the future to make Carlsbad, San Diego, California, a better place for others. We wish Nina the very best in the years to come. We're very grateful to the Chamber and the sponsors for providing this opportunity to showcase the tremendous contributions that Nina and the other nominees are making to this wonderful community. Thank you. I'd like to take a moment to kind of share what I heard said about a lot of you students or some of the things that you shared and just kind of give you um, some of that feedback. So, and I'm going to go in order from how you guys went today. Nina. <clears throat> um, man, so much, so much good stuff. Um, I love though, I, gosh, I'm forgetting which person said this. I have so many notes, but your um, your principal talked about you being a champion for those with disabilities, and I love that word champion. You know, because uh, all the little stories that came out, you know, anecdotally, um, really verified that champion standing up for others and 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 um, you know advocating for others, um, and obviously. Uh, a, a great word that was said about you was your empathy, which just, of course, flows from that. Um, you're championing those those uh, with special needs and with disabilities. Um, <clears throat> I think it was your parents who talked about your caring and your nurturing, um, which is just exuded. Um, but I love um, some, <laughs> gosh, again, I have so many notes. I can't remember who said it, but... Um, <laughs> You saw the students with disabilities for their strengths. It was your teacher who said it. You saw them for their strengths. You saw the strengths that they had. So you could see past, you know, whatever their 
disability was and you could see them as human beings and as persons, which is the core of what empathy is. And, and uh, but you exude it and the world would be a much better place if so many others had those qualities. So thank you for being here with me.